Hi guys, it's Lynn. As I've come into the polytunnel this evening and I check the plants every morning and evening. And as, as you, those of you know, I've done a video where I've lost quite a lot of plants from the, the winter, but I've just come to see this and this was not here earlier. This is my very sort of large, quite old Mammillaria spinosima. And look at that guys, I don't know what's going on. I've just got Hans out here. He's gonna help me lift it out. And I'm absolutely gutted because those of you who know you're watching my channel, I've lost a hell of a lot of plants this winter. And now into the spring, the coal damage is only starting to show up. This actually, I don't know what's happening here. It wasn't like that this morning anyway. It looks like, I don't know whether a mouse has eaten it or whatever, I don't know what's going on. So pretty gutted. And I hope whatever's happening, we can save this plant. Um, so here we go. I've got Hansi. Hansi was doing his music upstairs. I've just dragged him down. I'm panicking. I was like, oh, my love. I said, get this, get the mammillaria out, see what's happening to it because it looks like something has eaten it. Or either it's been silently rotting at the base and that it's been quite sunny today, whether the weight of the plant has just fallen over or what. Oh, God, look at that. What's happening? I don't know, it's, it looks very strange. It's, it's really weird. Yeah. But it's into the cord as well. In the cord. And it's a hole, hole in the cord as well. A hole all the way through. Did you see? Oh, what is it? I wonder if... Has something eaten it? Has something come in here? It's We've had the... Strange. The very door's strange. been quite... It's been quite sunny today and we have the door open to ventilate as you can see here and obviously we can't stop wildlife from coming in or anything like that but it'd be very unusual to have a mouse it's not the first time but either that or the plant has been silently rotting but as it was perfectly okay earlier and it's normal for mammillarias to sort of bend over like that this is my mammillaria formosa and i've got it propped against this i'm going to be supporting it they do bend over and they won't they won't have a hole if, if they were to they won't snap anyway they naturally bend over this looks like something's eaten it i have to take something because it's biting it's very so. spiny yeah. yeah so guys i've just filming this as it is i just picked the camera up and i thought right i don't know what's happening i don't know whether it's been silently i mean this feels hard whether it's been silently rotting or what but mammillaries are very very cold hardy so yeah. the winter should not have made any difference to this so I'm just filming it as it is and seeing what's happened. Oh, look at that. Has it rotten inside? And and I've kept these all dry over the winter, guys. I mean, I haven't given yeah, these a scrap of water. Oh, look at that, look at that. It's like mold. It's like mold has got in. Incredible. I think something's eaten it and there's and mold but, has got in and infected but it. But you didn't saw this this morning? No, it was not there this morning. And those of you who know, I, I put a video up literally the other day and I did a scan of all the plants. I'm sure you'll be able Spores to see. Here. It's dangerous that. to have it oh, in Oh, we here. have to take it out, maybe chop it. Those of you who see my update video, I mentioned this plant as well about it because I was talking about what's coming into bud and that. And you, as you'll see in that video only a few days ago, there was nothing wrong with it then. So this has just happened. This is really weird. Look at that. It's almost like it's full of mold all inside. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's high, quite high up. We have, we have to cut oh, it. We have to do an emergency cut, guys, oh so stay tuned. And thank God I've got this wonderful guy to help me because if I was on my own, I'd be like, I get so upset with my plants. And yeah. those of you who like, have been watching my channel know I've lost a hell of a lot of plants this from the past winter. I'm upset too. I know. I, I don't think this is, I don't know whether this is from the winter or this is, I don't know, but something's happened very, very quickly to cause that. But obviously mold doesn't develop in, in uh, an hour or so, so something's been going on with the plant and uh, going in the white polyton, we'll go into the white polyton yeah. and do an emergency cut. The guys have a better look of it here. I have to say, in all of my years of growing cacti, and I've, I've been growing cacti for over 40 years since I was 12 years old, and I have to say, I've never in my life seen this. I've seen some strange things this year, as you can see, this is not like normal rot. Normal rot would just be brown, oozing. It's just almost like, and as you can see there, I don't want to touch it, obviously. I'm going to let Hans deal with this. 
it's something I don't know what this is weird but this is not something that would happen in a few hours so there must have been some type of something going on with this plant and maybe as the weight of it as it leans over it's just made it burst open but thank goodness it has because there's enough of this plant I believe we can save it I say it's sentimental to me because it's one I've had a long time so guys I've done quite a few on how to save a cactus from rock videos but I don't exactly know I've never experienced this type before so Hans is doing a great cut on it I am able to film while he's doing that so <laughs> Poor Hansi was practicing his music. He's yeah, yeah. been busy with gigs and stuff, and I had to drag him out with the horror of this. Look at that. You see, it's up here. I have to go up at least. And I've made a video on how to, to save a cactus from rot. Alcohol, you know. Yeah, clean alcohol, rubbing alcohol clean to this clean the knife. It's spores and shit on this. Yeah, now. yeah, have to make sure that when you're cutting. Now I've made a video, many videos on how to save a cactus from rot. So um, this is a similar thing. This is obviously some type of fungus that's got into this plant somehow. Um, I don't know whether it was from the cold winter. I, I actually think, because last year we had an exceptionally hot summer in the UK and Ireland, way hotter, and it got so hot in the polytunnel that 125 degrees Fahrenheit in there and I think that with the extreme cold as well was just too much I don't know maybe these are all cooking from last year's summer I don't know but when you're removing rot or any infection you need to go way above where the cut is and so you cut into the clean core yeah you can still see look it's still spreading oh I really don't want to lose this Mamillaria this is one of my favorites guys Oh, fingers crossed. Oh no, it looks like it's spreading all the way up. My God. Oh no. This one I've had for years. Oh, flipping it, guys. I'll tell you what, I've lost so many plants, but they're all, a lot of them have been my absolute best plants I've had for so, so long. I'm just gutted. So this isn't a happy video guys but I just like to share everything with it with you all and happy and, and hopefully you know what to do should you have this happen to yours I just pray there's something I can save of this guys I am so gutted incredible this that's just I don't I'm not as I say the plant's gone so sorry the past few videos I've been putting on all my plants I've been losing but this that's is just that's reality you know this is reality I know a lot of growers have lost a lot but I've I say I've been growing cacti for 40 years and I've never experienced losing so many plants as I have over the past few months one from the probably the and the winter in 50 years but and this the, year is in awesome. Hans in 50 years but this year we've <laughs> And we heat the polytunnel to a minimum of five, you know, so it's not like we have an unheated polytunnel or anything. It's just, it's just been too, yeah, look at that. Oh, I can't believe this, guys. And I'm sorry that it's, I've not been able to save it, but I, I, I've done videos on how to save a cactus from rot. And sometimes you- I never you, thought that one. I know, if, if you have to make sure that this central core is completely clear if you can save yeah. any part of should a cactus. It should be the same colour as it is yeah, here, you know. Yeah, it should be white all the way through the white, corp and it's not, It's that's orange. So this is some type of rock that rock. has completely yeah. been hidden completely from view from me. I've not seen this and uh, obviously I don't know whether a hole or something's bit into it or something and fungus has gone in and it's spread so fast. Incredible. So guys, unfortunately I've had to say goodbye to a lot of my, a lot of beloved very special plants this year and this one is the next one. We have, we have another uh, Mamillaria spinosima in our collection as well so we have got another one in our collection, one of Hans's he brought over from Sweden but yeah. this was mine I'd grown for many many years as you can see. So there you go, a bit of a disaster video and we tried to save it uh, obviously we can't because of the core it's mm. orange all the way through but there you go so what do you reckon guys 
guess who's come to see us again? Lucy! Lucy the cat! Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I love her! So thanks so much for watching guys and uh, sorry it's not more of a happier video but the only positive I can say you have to look at there's always a positive to every negative is that every plant you lose then this makes room for more plants not that I'd choose to lose them this way um, and I have this beautiful Mammy Lau has given me so much pleasure over the years with the beautiful ring of flowers and that and that's how it goes Hopefully the next few videos will be all nice and cheerful and upbeat and lots of flowers coming up for the spring and in the spring and summer anyway. I've got lots of buds forming on the plants so and a big uh, thumbs up to Hansi for trying oh. keeping me calm and doing the, the surgery as trying to save this. So um, if you haven't done already please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell. If you can do leave a comment in the, in the comments description in the video down below even if it's just a heart or a smiley or in this case a sad face <laughs> because every comment does really help the algorithm and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon and I want to wish you all a fantastic, hopefully a lot more of a happier Cactus Power Day. Got it. Oh.